If I'm being honest with you, sometimes I just want to give up. There's only so much you can take before you reach your breaking point. And these cars will make you get to that point. But I'm going to remind you guys to suck it up, turn on some good music, and turn some wrenches. All right, so let me give you guys a quick rundown on what's going on. We've got the Carbon Fox up here on the lift. Well, yesterday I noticed that my alternator was, it was done. Actually, the car quit up there at O'Reilly Auto Parts and them guys had to jump me off and I came home, drove home in the dark with no headlights. This car has LEDs in it, so you know they have to have a certain voltage. We didn't have the voltage, so. Anyway, this car needs an alternator and I'm like, okay, cool. I've got a 3G alternator sitting right here that came off the Calypso. This is an SVE alternator right here from LMR. And also, I think it's 130 amps. So I go under here, I'm like, mm, yep, there it is. Remember guys, this car's supercharged, so the alternator's down here. I'm like, look how easy this is. We have our one bolt right there that we need to take loose, and really that one too, I guess. But that's pretty much it, right? Come over here to this bolt. Now let me show you guys something. This is what made me almost lose my check this bolt out right there do you see the problem here see that's the very end of the bolt not the head of the bolt that means that this bolt that runs through this bracket needs to go out that way well you see the freaking problem we really don't have a choice but to take the whole supercharger bracket assembly off just to get that one freaking bolt out. This was like a last minute thing. I was gonna pull the car in here, do the 3G alternator upgrade, show you how to do it once again. And then I saw that and I'm like, well, you gotta be kidding me. This is like a half a day job now. I don't have the easy button, the secret recipe for you guys to stay motivated when shit like this happens, but here it is for me. This is how I do it. It's gotta be done. I've got to do this. So why not go ahead, if I have the time, and knock it out? Here's the other thing, even if you don't have the time, maybe go ahead and prepare your car, like prep it and get it ready for when you do have time. Do a couple little things if you only have a couple hours or maybe 30 minutes of extra time right now. Go ahead and prep yourself for when you do have time. This is the biggest issue that we have in the Fox Body community, is staying motivated. You're gonna work on these cars if you have it, sorry. I hate to hurt somebody's feelings, but if you're looking for a Fox body, they're a great car, but you're going to work on any older car, especially if it's modified. Shit is going to go wrong, and you're not taking it to the Ford dealership to go get it worked on, or at least I'm not anyway. So with that being said, you have to understand things like this are gonna arise, and you can't feel sorry for yourself. You can't be pissed off for too long about it. You just got to find the good in this. At times like this, there's really not a whole lot of good. This is a shitty job that we gotta do now all for one bolt. But with that being said, you learn from that, right? Next time that bolt will go in from the other direction. So I'll have learned my lesson on that. Even if you're laying on your back in the dirt, you still have gotta do it. I've done it, I've been there. So I'm telling you to suck it up, lay your ass in the dirt, in the gravel, in the water, in the mud, I don't care, get it done. There's no excuses when it comes to this type of stuff. So I know that sounds harsh, but that's just the reality of it. If I have to do it and have had to do it my whole entire life and I'm still here and I'm still breathing on this earth, then you can too, as bad as it sucks. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling some of this shit off and then I'll show you guys how to do the 3G upgrade. What I'm gonna do right now is show you how to convert everything over to 3G. Up here we have our 3G alternator. It just bolts right in, same exact spot. Uh, because this thing is relocated, it fits with no problems. Now, this is not the way that people recommend you do this. I want you to know that ahead of time. Everybody's gonna recommend that you run a you know, four gauge wire or something like that across, but I'm not gonna do that simply because I've done this in the past and I don't really require anything else from my car as far as power wise, other than the normal accessories. So no system, you know, no electric fans, none of that. So cut your pigtail off right here. And this is really simple if you do it this way. Now you can upgrade it if you'd like, but for me, I've tried this before and it works. So what I'm gonna do is tie these two wires in together to one single lug, and then put a connection on here, a spade connector on here to where it'll plug into the back of our stator, all right? That's it. This plug 
it stays the same and it'll go up into the alternator. Okay, so those two wires right there together and we're gonna put a single connector on this. Push both wires through together. As you can see, nice solid connection. We're gonna clamp this thing down and we'll be good to go on that part. Okay, that's it. We've got a good, nice solid connection. Now we just wanna do the stator wire. Just like that. A regular spade connector will work here. And that's it. This goes into the battery side of your alternator with your stud. And this is gonna go into that little small connection up there. This connection here is gonna go around the back side onto this stud. And then your stator wire, this connection, is gonna go right up inside of that one little white plug there. So I'll go ahead and show you guys now how it works. There again, your factory connector stays the same. White wire goes there. And this is how your connections are gonna look. Just like this. Now, I feel like I gotta have a disclaimer here because everybody's gonna freak out and they're gonna tell you not to do it this way. Listen, I have done this two or three times without the wiring upgrade and I've not had any issues. With that being said, I don't wanna burn anybody's car down. I don't want any issues. So I, if the best thing you can do is go ahead and just add a four gauge wire on the back of that alternator back there, add a connection to it, and literally just run it along the car out to your solenoid as an extra wire. Okay, what that thing will do is just carry the, all the current from the alternator over to the solenoid. And you can actually do away with both of your black and yellow wires and not even use them if you run a four gauge. There again, I know a lot of you guys do it this way. I've not had any troubles in the past with it, but you know, if you're running a high load, in my personal opinion, I would probably do the upgrade for sure. So everything is done and I'm gonna be honest with you, this thing is charging awesome. Now the gauge in this car always reads high. So when it reads halfway, that means the alternator is not working. But I can tell you that it has now pegged the gauge out. I, I'm gonna say something and I'm probably wrong about this, but I wanna say that the car feels more responsive. So I think for a while we've been down on power. And if you guys don't know, in a fuel injected car, you have to have the correct voltage. Uh, obviously, if it wasn't making the proper voltage, then yeah, sure, your injectors are now getting more voltage, so more fuel, like everything's working correctly. But guys, that sucked. That was an absolute nightmare to change out a freaking alternator on this car. So there again, this video is to remind you all, just get after it if you can. So I wanna address the 3G alternator upgrade question. Is it something that you gotta have? To be honest with you, no, it's not. Uh, if you have a stock car, I mean, if you want to upgrade it, upgrade it. It's definitely an upgrade, but don't feel like you need to. This is the way I look at things. If your alternator goes out on your car, then yeah, go ahead and upgrade it. Uh, pretty much that's the way I upgrade things. When things break, I go ahead and buy the thing that I really wanted, but it's not a necessity. Even for you guys that have a small system, meaning like, you know, maybe one eight inch sub, you know, 400 watt amp, something like that. Uh, the stock alternator, if it's in good shape, should be fine. If you're running a really big amp or you know you have electric fans definitely upgrade uh, when you get a chance but it's not something that you've got to do but when you do it it's a peace of mind and you don't have to worry about nothing so all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up and as always thanks for watching so for you guys that are supercharged the bolt for your alternator that holds it on make sure you do not put it in through the back of your brackets make sure that bolt goes through the front of the brackets because once you put the bolt through the bracket and you put the bracket on the car, you can't get the bolt out unless you take the entire assembly off. 